103.5 WEZL on the web at WEZL.com. Brad Paisley and Vin on WEZL. Of course, Brad Paisley, one of those deeply moved by the death of Les Paul yesterday, he immediately issued statements about how his life would have been completely different had Les Paul not lived. Uh, he's, of course, Brad Paisley, one of the most amazing guitar players in Nashville. Another of those is uh, Keith Urban. Um, he says he has a mixed emotion about the death of Les Paul. He said he's deeply saddened by by his passing, but on the other hand, at the same time, he's in, in uh, incredibly grateful and in awe of uh, his contribution to the world of music. Without Les Paul, there would never have been rock and roll. Uh, so, without so Les there's, Paul, there's no electric guitar. There's no electric guitar. There's no reverb. There's no multi-track recording. There's all of that from him. All of that was Les Paul. Les Paul was a, a, an amazing guitar player who decided, you know what, if I could figure out a way to run some electricity through this thing and <laughs> plug this up to something, I bet that'd have a sound. And he created it. He, recorded, he, rec- he re- re- created something he called, I think, the log, was what he called it. Uh, uh-huh. uh, the wooden uh, electric guitar, that solid body, and he, he hooked all the stuff to it, and, and, and it changed the world of music. So was he uh, uh, as gifted as an artist as he was as an inventor he was the most he was an amazing guitar player he was an innovator uh but i mean his guitar he he could he even at 90 he the guy was still happen. was still doing stage shows with his guitar sitting there doing nothing but playing a guitar and people were in awe did he have any commercial success as far as radio airplay or any of that type stuff early I'm, on I'm, I'm sure he did yeah his his wife was um um what was her name she was a uh, singer uh, I want to say Mary Ford. Is that uh, right? That's, yeah, that's Is that it. right? Uh-huh. I heard that yesterday. Uh, so he played with her. And, I mean, yeah, he had some success. But his his whole world came uh, from designing the Les Paul guitar. In fact, I, I mean, I don't know anybody who plays a guitar who won't tell you that's probably their favorite guitar. I mean, it's just, it's a heavy um, in, in work of art. Uh, everything about a Les Paul uh, is just an amazing uh, thing. And... My favorite guitar I've ever owned was a Les Paul Jr. Uh, that I ended up having to sell to pay the bills up at the restaurant before we closed it. But uh, I, I, I treasured that thing. It was it was incredible. Um, where where do Gibson and some of the other names? Well, fall Gibson in? Gibson is a manufacturer of the Les Paul. Okay, so so Les Paul basically he created he, it, invented it, and then these other places manufactured and, exactly. and sent it out. So is it a yeah. Gibson Les Paul yeah. when that, whenever they do something yeah. like that, or a Les Paul Jr. or you know it's different models but uh, if you've got uh one of the early last pauls you've got you've got a, a treasure on your hands guy was incredible he, he, he just really was um he retired and, and and basically just sat around he retired from music to, to create stuff mm-hmm. back in the 70s uh, i mean he and chet atkins were buddies they they played stuff together um did he know our buddy mike up at the uh up at the music store, the old-fashioned music store. I guarantee you, Mike's run into him somewhere. Yeah. Michael's run into him somewhere because he's got uh, he's got Les Pauls hanging all over that store. I think that's that must be his favorite as well. Um, and they said up until uh, basically a, a month ago, Les Paul was still playing every Monday night at this little place in in New York City. He'd come out, and sit there, and play his guitar all night on Monday night. That's where you went to see the master. You just think of Les Paul. I, I, I mean, I didn't even know he was still alive. I mean, I yeah. thought I thought Les Paul 90, was just one 94? of those legendary names that you've always heard yeah. in association with music. Well, he uh, he is a legend, and he, and he he truly uh, is absolutely one hundred percent responsible uh, for the vehicle uh, of of rock and roll. Had had he not lived and created, uh, we would not have music as we know it today, country or rock. Yeah. Uh, he's just an amazing fellow, and he's gone. And there will be a lot of tributes. And if you don't know anything about him, uh, if you're into music, you t- look him up. This is a good chance to learn a little bit about just an amazing guy that you didn't. You heard a lot about Chet Atkins and some of these other, you know, uh, players and pickers. And and sometimes, you know, Les just got pushed to the back as a guitar guy. And he truly was an amazing human being. An amazing human being. Go to his Wikipedia page. I'm Check sure him out. Check him out. There's a couple of really good pieces on him on. Um, uh, PBS.org too. Mm-hmm. One of those, a couple of they did some documentary work on him a while back, and there's a couple of good pieces on him on there. So if you're if you're interested, that's a good place to go find out. Uh, but it'll be a, it'll be a, a funky weekend for a lot of famous musicians, who uh, you know this guy was their was their god. Yeah, you know, just he was incredible. 
It's 825 at WEZO. Now.